My initial idea for the piece was to take this principle of instrumental consort style playing of the traverso in the 16th century and take this one element that I really enjoy about playing polyphonic music on flutes, which is this complex harmonic interaction between instruments which are built identically and meant to be played as a set. What I find super fascinating in general about the Renaissance flute is that it's in principle such a I don't want to say primitive instrument because in a way it's very sophisticated, but the, the principle, the construction principle is so simple and it's basically a cylindrical bore um, and then we have the armature hole, the flute is closed at one, on one end and then you just have six fingering holes and you can um, have an ambitus of two and a half octaves and on the bass flutes it's a bit less though it's around two octaves but still for such in easy construction it's kind of genius how it works and how extremely flexible the sound of the instrument is. The other aspect that really influenced the composition was the actual construction of the Renaissance flute and specifically the bass Renaissance flute is that it's simple but at the same time it leaves you so many possibilities for uh, microtonal fingerings very, very small adjustments to pitch, uh, pitch sliding, things like this, and that's really a, an essential element to what made this piece possible, was that uh, we could very, very slowly and subtly change the level of pitch and change uh, the interval shape over a long period. we have the possibility of microtonal changes. Also the, the principle of embouchure um, leaves us uh, a lot of flexibility and this is a feature of the flute instruments, of the traverso instruments that survives until today for the modern flute and this is really amazing about the instrument that just through the embouchure I mean for sure you have like a flexibility of half a tone or three quarters of a whole tone to just change the pitch um, so these two elements combined actually leave us quite a lot of quite a big range of, of possibility there to stretch and to bend the intonation because the structure of the piece was very long and very demanding to play um, a very big instrument without stopping for 60 minutes we knew that we would really have one chance to do it. The, the physical challenge of it really added to the um, character of the performance and the character of the composition because you can really um, hear a little bit the physical struggle that we were going through. And it, I have to say it transferred in a very beautiful way. But in the end it was, I don't know, it was almost a cathartic experience somehow because it's like physical exercising or something but at the same time you, you create something you have to, to always be aware and super awake of what's happening, what the other flutist is doing so um, on the one hand you are really alone with yourself and trying to, to handle the situation and um, yeah being almost feeling to be confined to to sit with this instrument and at the same time it's all about the interaction. <laughs>